Well, thank you so much for being here today. We are here to uh, celebrate the retirement of Teddy Floyd. How about that? Congratulations. So we've had some uh, some big retirements. Yesterday we had uh, Deputy Ella Goodman in here. That was a big retirement. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations to her. And uh, today we, uh, we, we, we thank Teddy for his years of service and his dedication to Indian River County. And uh, you see you got a ton of friends here and people yes. who, who want to say things. So uh, I want to I want to get this going and, and I want to be the first to say congratulations, Teddy. We love you very much. Thank and you, uh, we're going to miss you. Absolutely. Today I get to present you with your retirement badge, which you're being promoted to sa sergeant today in retirement. Congratulations. Oh. Now, additionally, we have this book for you, a notepad. This is for you to keep your workouts in so that you can get in shape, right? Yes. Because Teddy has promised that he's going to get in shape. As you guys know, we're putting a fitness standard in place, and Teddy wants to come back in six months and go back into our school resource program. So he's promised me that he's going to get in shape, and yes. he's going to be ready to uh, pass that fitness program. So No more buffets for me. No more buffets. <laughs> and then we've got this awesome watch for you, Teddy. And uh, this has got uh, an inscription on the back of it for you, and that's for you and for your retirement. So you can hang on to that, okay? Show that off to all your family and friends. Yeah. Okay? Well... I, uh, I hadn't slept all night long. I've been thinking about this because you ever watch those movies when Batman and he get to the end and all of a sudden he throws that punch and something comes say, to be continued? <laughs> well, I don't threw that punch, so it's to be continued. All right, all right, all right. I am very honored to serve. I want to tell my deputy chief, wherever he is, Lonnie and Milo, the whole entire, Doug, the whole entire sheriff's office. And I want to thank Uli, even though you're on the city side, you and me. I got you, baby. But I'm just messing with you, me and Daryl. But I want to thank my wife and my kids, Mike, the whole entire family. But most of all, I want to give honor to my mother and God. Amen. I want to give God praise. I've been, I've been fortunate to have five sheriffs. And when we came in with the concept of trying to figure out what can we do, if you look at our country now, we're in trouble unless we get back to loving each other, unity in the community. Amen. And uh, prayer is the key to that. As a law enforcement officer, I learned a lot from Doug when we were out there. Every one of these guys, Tommy, Rod, when you Look out and you get out now because everybody's so fearful for what the social media and everybody has said, you're going to go. So we try to change it. My job every day when I woke up was to try to make a difference. Sometimes even if they ran the stop sign, so what you ran the stop sign. But if I could make you feel better and make it go away the next time you would get that ticket. But we all have problems. We've all made mistakes sometimes. I have. Amen. So when you go in and you ask yourself, what would Jesus do? You give them a break. Like, I done had 50 million breaks. I'm never home. My wife has been with me through thick and thin. <laughs> and uh, I just want to thank this opportunity because most people take this badge for granted. I don't. And I'm thankful. I don't know where Kent Campbell at, but if you see him, I used to get tired of running that bridge at 5.30 in the morning on the Campbell diet. <laughs> But he made me a better man. And uh, I'm just grateful for this whole community, all you guys. And y'all played for me. I know I'll be back in a couple months. But if you could do one thing, when you go out today, just touch somebody and make a four, even if you just say a prayer with them. Sometimes it ain't all about it. I had a guy the other day come back and tell me, after all these years, I pulled him over on 95. I used to write a lot of tickets. And the guy was about, he said he was speeding about 105 miles an hour. He's really speeding. He goes, when I got him pulled over, we talked. I didn't write him a ticket. He had just gone through court here, got a divorce, and he was trying to kill himself. 
Well, I thought that guy forgot about me. That guy came back a couple days ago. Hadn't seen this guy in 14, almost 14 years. And he walked up and he said, you saved my life because I intended to kill myself after that divorce and I didn't care who I hurt. He said, you wanted to go with us. And I'm very grateful for that man. He wants to come back. I told him during Christmas, come back, we're going to get turkey drive, so I need some money. <laughs> but other than that, those are the memories that you remember when you touch somebody, you made a difference in somebody's life. And I hope that I made a difference in, in the River County Sheriff's Office. My major at the time now is my sheriff. I want to thank you for giving me that opportunity. Yes, to all my commissioners, thank you. My wife, everybody in this entire room, and I thank you, Mother, because we've been through a lot. <laughs> I love you. There you go. Attention all personnel, after 30 years of service, with the Indian River County Sheriff's Office. It is a great honor that we announce the retirement of Deputy Teddy Floyd. Teddy, we thank you for your dedication to this career and to the citizens of Indian River County. We wish you much happiness in your retirement. Indian River Clear, 1155.